Yeah, my name's uh, Ian Bunting and I'm the team leader with Edo Mountain Rescue Team. What that means is my job within the team is I have overall responsibility for the operations of the team, uh, making sure that when we go out on jobs, that the job happens and it, it's safe and efficient. As humans going out of sections, we're limited both within sort of our physical prowess if you like of, of getting over the ground and covering the ground but also the, the main sense that we search with are our eyes. Um, the dogs can cover the ground a lot more quickly, uh, they're obviously fitter and more agile so they can cover the ground quickly and they're also they're using their sense of smell to find people. Within the team about 25% of the incidents we attend are searchers um, and on all of those searches we would we would request the assistance of search dogs so not only would we have uh, our team search dog which is which is Flash and John but we would also get dogs in from other teams in, in, in the area and the same also applies to other teams when, when they have a search within their area there'll be a general call that goes out to the other sorder handlers within the within the peak district. The main job that we do is actually clearing ground and, and uh, I've got to go into an area that's given to me by the search managers, uh, search it and come out of it and say there isn't anybody there, which is quite hard. You need a, a dog that you can rely on to make a find whenever there's somebody there. And so they're uh, an important part of the team. Pretend casualty we've got was hidden in um, in some undergrowth uh, out of view. The dog found him, um, which uh, is well, that's fairly realistic, and it's just what the dog's used to in her training. So, and we do have to train a lot. You know, the the, the dog might only get maybe if they're really lucky half a dozen finds in the working life, real finds. But for every find we make on operations this dog will do hundreds in in practice so she knows exactly what to do and so do i search dogs were introduced to the uk within mountain rescue in the in the mid 60s uh, a chap called hamish mckinnis who was uh, leader of the glencoe team and quite a well-known mountaineer uh, within sort of scotland and the mountaineering circles went over to the alps one winter uh, and he saw their avalanche dogs work uh, so basically the, the dogs are looking for people buried in the snow uh, the scent comes up out of the snow, the dogs find the scent and then they dig down to locate the missing people. And he saw this in action uh, and thought it was a really good idea. Mountain Rescue is the largest charity in the country that doesn't have any paid employees. We do this to assist the public, but likewise we require, um, yeah, we require people to donate or, or, or help us in fundraising for us to be able to help them. You should try and support Mountain Rescue if you can. Uh, one of the great traditions in this country is that uh, our open country is free to everyone and climbers and walkers join mountain rescue teams and um, they look after each other and it's got to remain free of charge and then the hills are open to everybody. So we only ask hill goers for money and uh, you know, it'd be nice if they supported us.